ESG has been a point of contention for many politicians, specifically Republicans, including instances of state funds being pulled away from firms like BlackRock that have adopted such ESG policies. But now CNBC learning that many of those state leaders targeting climate investing have quiet stakes in the fossil fuel industry. CNBC.com political finance reporter Brian Schwartz has more. Brian, fill us in. Well, yeah, so what we've learned over the course of reporting for a number of weeks now is that there are a few state leaders, and we're talking about people like at the rank of treasurer, comptroller, and you name it, chief financial officers for their states, who are owning and have purchased stocks or some other equity interest, really, in the fossil fuel business while they've been, in many cases, defending the fossil fuel industry publicly and taking on ESG investment standards at BlackRock and the like. And so when we spoke to lawyers who are ethic experts, people who we spoke to a person who used to run the Bush White House ethics team in, in years ago, he was saying to me that basically this appears that could be a conflict of interest, potentially, because, again, these are very powerful executives at the state level, leaders there, who, are, who have the power to move money around based on their state. They have control of, fun, of some state funds Correct. that would be like a state pension fund right. or something like that. And meanwhile, they are really, in a way, potentially profiting off the fossil fuel business, the very same business they are trying, it, if, arguably, to protect. Do the pro-ESG state leaders ever have quiet stakes in clean energy uh, companies that would benefit from their legislative push? Well, not that I've really seen so far. I mean, I guess there have been some smaller companies here or there that I caught wind of when I was looking through the disclosures, but nothing as big as, let's say, Exxon and Chevron, right? We're talking about the giants that we really found through this, ConocoPhillips, you name it. And these, and in some cases, look, these, the fossil fuel business is a big player in some of these states, talking about places like Texas and Missouri. So there's the other side of it where they could just say, hey, this is an industry thing they're really interested in. But on the other hand, in their positions that they've really developed over the last few years, they have become defenders of this industry, and that could pot potentially create... I'm surprised that these state officials are as free as is implied by this reporting to invest in, uh, sort of anywhere wherever and whenever they want. Well, it, it, it is interesting, right? That's part of this story, where there is really no clear state regulations, at least in the states that we went through. We went through over half a dozen of these states. You can read the rest on CNBC.com to see what else we've touched on here. But there are really no clear state regulations to decide and to push back on these leaders on what they can own and when they can purchase it. You know, again, Scott Fitzpatrick, the auditor of Missouri, told us through, it was through his office that you know, he has a broker, essentially, an advisor who is buying these stocks for him. He doesn't have any power over what that person goes off and de decision-making skills on, on that front. But still, he does own these stocks. He does have a stake in, the, in, these, in this industry. Well, listen, at the if same Congress time. can.